Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, join the family by hitting that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every week, <laughs> talking about skincare. All right, let me first start off by saying thank you guys so much for 10K subscribers. My mind is actually blown, believe it or not. I'm still in a state of shock. <laughs> I cannot believe that there's so many of you guys that care so much about your skincare routine, but it makes my heart extremely happy that that amount of people care, especially care about my opinion. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful and I can't express my gratitude enough, but just know that I am beyond, beyond grateful. Thank you. All right, so today, as you guys can tell from the title, we're gonna be talking about my favorite sunscreens for people of color, people of dark skin. Now, there's four sunscreens in this video. The first two I've seen to have absolutely no white cast. The other two could have white cast on some people, especially the lighter you are, probably wouldn't get white cast from them, but the uh, darker you are, you might get white cast. So just bearing that in mind, sunscreens are not very affordable. I think the cheapest was $17, but the ones that had absolutely no white cast are above $30, okay? Just know that information going in. So why physical sunscreens? Physical sunscreens are popular or some people prefer physical sunscreen because zinc and titanium, which are the active filters in physical sunscreens, tend to sit on the surface of your skin. They don't go into your skin like chemical sunscreen filters. They sit on the skin and deflect UV rays away from your skin and essentially prevent UV rays from going into the dermal layers of your skin. Honestly, don't really think anyone is better. People just don't like stuff going into their body or going into their skin. I guess people just don't like the idea of that. I don't have a preference to be honest, but I found chemical to be more easy to maneuver or use in my day-to-day -day life. Anyway, without wasting any more of your time, let's get into these products. Okay, so the first one is this one by Replenix. A UVA, UVB filter, broad spectrum, zinc oxide, no titanium. Just so you guys know, sometimes you would see just zinc in a physical sunscreen because zinc is broad spectrum. It deflects all of the wavelengths of UVA, UVB. Titanium doesn't really deflect short length UVA rays very well. Titanium also does tend to have more of a white cast, even though they're both powders. Titanium would sometimes cause more of a white cast even when used in smaller quantities. Okay, going back into this one. So this one, let's just demo it really quickly. I'm gonna spray it on my hand. I was gonna spray it on my face for the video, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. Okay, I'm just gonna try to blend that in. You guys see how well that's going in. So good. Wow, absolutely no white cast. I love this one also because it has green tea, phenols, resveratrol, which is an antioxidant, vitamin C, coolings and Q10. It's packed with such great antioxidants to also help fight free radicals. I love it. So that's number one, Replenix. Okay, number two is this one I actually shared on my TikTok. I've also shared the other one on my TikTok, but this one I recently shared and I was like, what? Because you know when you start giving up on finding like the right physical sunscreens? I was so shocked. I went to the senior chemist's office at my job and I found this one. I was like, let me just try it out. And y'all, I was shook shook all right let's test it out oh my gosh that's so much product i'm actually not gonna use all of that here it is let's let's keep going just ignore that okay you guys see how it blends in so well i mean i can maybe see a bit of actually no it went in really good y'all see that no white cast so definitely feel comfortable using this one throughout the day all right let's go into the next one Okay, next one, like I said, this one, on some people might have white cast and some other people might not have white cast, okay? This one is the one by La Roche Posay. I also heard this one has one that's called the Fluid Antilios sunscreen. Apparently that one doesn't really have a white cast, but this one I found to have a bit of a white cast. I also demoed this on my TikTok, by the way, which I'm gonna show right here. I try my hardest to blend this well, because I heard if you keep going, it'll disappear. Ah. It's actually not that bad, but you can still see that sort of a grayish tint coming in. This one, I believe, has both zinc and titanium. Mm -hmm. Like I said, titanium does tend to have more of a white cast even when used in smaller doses. You guys see that this is not as perfect as the other two that I've used before. It's still that grayish tint, but definitely very manageable. You can wear this one out if you choose to. Last one here is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen SPF 30. This one has both zinc and titanium. This one does have white cast on me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, I think I even put too much. 
Okay, this is how much I have in. Oh gosh, okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Oh God, this one's not. I'm doing this on my TikTok right here. And you guys can see that I blended really, really well into their skin, but on my skin, no. Y'all see that? Compared to the other one by La Roche-Posay, you'll see there's a very evident white cast on this one. Yeah, this one looks like I'm casket ready. It's a no. Like I said, if you're lighter skin, it might work for you. But those are the four that I found so far to work decently on people of color or dark skin people. The first two definitely have my vote. The La Roche-Posay one was $19.99 and the CeraVe one was $17. Just so you guys know, the cheaper you go when it comes to physical sunscreens, the more likely you're going to get a white cast because obviously cheaper means cheaper ingredients. There are um, sunscreens, physical sunscreens that use zinc nanoparticles, but those literally are so expensive. I was talking to the chemist at work and she said that when they do those ones with nanoparticles of zinc and titanium, like literally a pound of it is like $68 versus five bucks for a pound of cheap zinc. You get what you pay for, you know? Classic, you get what you pay for. So just bear that in mind when you check for physical sunscreens. But these are the ones so far, especially the first two that I talked about, I've seen to really, really blend in really well in skin of color. If you've tried any other physical sunscreens, leave them down below. I definitely want to check them out. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to join the family by subscribing, liking the video, and share with your friends and family or anyone that's in the market for physical sunscreens. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.